Carla and Damon here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Live, GBHBL.com for short, and it's they made what into a TV series. Hey, hey, it's Castlevania. Of course it is. You've seen the tile. Hopefully you've been watching these episodes along. We're up to episode nine of season three. It is The Harvest, directed by Sam Dietz and Adam Dietz, stepping in for this and written by Warren Ellis. We pick up, because I'm glad we did, because it could have very easily left us to the end, yeah. but we don't. We come straight back in, Lindenfeld. As night falls and all seems nicely peaceful, families are at home, having dinner, praying to God, it's so nice. And this show is like, fuck all of that. I, I, I just knew it, man, I knew it. Fuck all of that, <laughs> because as the sun fully descends, the houses that bear the symbols that were carved by the monks erupt, combust into flames, brutal, shooting man. into the air. Proper brutal. Yes, killing all the people inside. The pillars of flames converge over the monastery, bursting through it, and back into the basement. And unsurprisingly, our heroes are like, oh, like shocked and yeah. devastated by what is seeing. We, met, we, we fucked up basically. Yeah, we shouldn't have <laughs> waited. We, let, we gave them the chance to do this. Mm -hmm. They attack the monastery, but the monks are waiting for them and a battle properly ensues. So, now we've had that explosive start. Hector and Lenore. Okay, so let's get this out of here. There's a lot of sex in this episode. Uh, Castlevania has played around with nudity here and there, but yeah. mostly it's about, been about violence. But it is an adult show. This is sex. Mm -hmm. Straight up. As Hector and Lenore basically getting down to it in bed. And we see Isaac surveying the magician's city from above. So what we're going to do is something Castlevania doesn't do often. <coughs> we're going to tell two stories at the same time. Yep. Cutting between the two. W different levels of passion, but from a sex one and a violence one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and based around Hector and Isaac. Uh, so Isaac, seeing that the people are basically zombies, so they're basically transfixed. They've got like these crowns on their head yeah, that yeah. glow green. Uh, so he and his night creatures attack the city. The zombified people put up no resistance nope. as Isaac begins his work creating even more night creatures. We now jump to the third part of this because we now throw in another person that's going to play along with this concurrent story. It's Alucard, struggling to sleep and disturbed by Taka and Sumi arriving. And they start to seduce him and have sex with him. So yeah, we get a threesome here. Yep. Yeah, yep. So there you go. Good so, for Alucard. When I first saw the scene, when, when the first kiss happened, mm. I actually thought they poisoned him. I'll give, I'll give him something because he, he sort of froze. So I thought, oh shit, have they bloody... Uh, giving him some sort of, I don't know, vampire drug to, to paralyse him. Okay. That's what I thought at first, but then I realised it. It's just because he was like, oh, shit, what's Yeah, going yeah, on? Like, exactly, what, yeah. What's going on? Why <laughs> is that not the first thing you jump to instead of some mad thing about just poisoning because, him? He's a vampire. Just, no, no, it's some, 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 some sort of power because they, they, they're, they're reading the Belmont book, so maybe they found some, some, some yeah, sort of paralysing thing. Yeah, but yeah. why, why, but what I'm getting at, why jump to that really hard and out there thing to not the more simple, I don't know, good, the good. simple thing which is he froze because it was unexpected and it's likely to be the, the first bit of affection like he's been shown in a very long time. Because it, it was, it, that, 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 I, I was not expecting a phrase to put it that way. No, right, so, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah, so, oh, right, yeah. right, okay, I'll give you that. Yeah, admittedly, I wasn't, I wasn't. Yeah. Uh, in Lindenfell, the battle is intense and many soldiers and monks are being killed. All of this happening while hell literally erupts around them. I love that, like the scene of the things going up, more and more houses exploding yeah. and going up in flames in the background. We've talked about that before, you know, the, the graphics and the design is unbelievable. This episode might be the one mm. for has the most incredible visuals I think of all. As yeah. pretty as things like the Infinite Corridor were here, this combination of what happens in Lindenfell and what is gonna happen mm -hmm. with Isaac is startlingly good. Yep. You know, really, really, really good. Uh, Cypher uses magic to protect Saint Germain and he tried to head inwards. Inside the Priory basement, Salah watches on in amazement as the harvested soul, so that's why it's called a harvest. This is about harvesting souls. Enter the visitor and a gateway to hell opens and from it pours countless night creatures. When that yeah. happened, did you just realise, oh, fuck. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> like, this is not good now. When they're being surrounded to a bar, <laughs> Yeah, trouble for our, you, you know, because ultimately, you could argue it's low stakes mm. because you kind of know Trevor's not dying, you know Cypher's not dying and all that. Yeah, yeah. But... But this is very important. I'm like, okay, but I also like a lot of the secondary characters. Mm -hmm. I like Saint Germain. I like it's the judge. Like that, yeah. There's your people you can kill off. You spent time with them. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you may, you may not kill Trevor and Cypher, but you can certainly kill off the other people. Exactly, yeah. Uh, seemingly aware of the attack, the magician, because we're back with Isaac, 
He sets his zombified army to fight back, and Isaac can only watch as they start to overwhelm his night creatures because they're just mindless. Yep. So even the night creatures struggle with that. He realizes, okay, look, I have to stop the magician, so races off to his tower to pursue by like loads, a horde of these. Think of like a World War Z style zombies, Cop, that kind of yeah. thing. It's quite terrifying to look at. And if you want to kind of understand it, if you've seen Game of Thrones, think of the the Ice King man. Yeah. Um, yeah. He dies, all his minions will die. It's that nonsense, mm. basically. In between the horror, a horror that involves the zombified people being transformed into Legion. Now, what the fuck happened there? This comes. I was like, <laughs> what is this show doing? It's yep. a giant ball of countless human bodies. So I, I, Just, I, I, <laughs> I got, I got instant vibes. Do you remember the different critters? The yeah, big, the yeah, it's critter that. Ball. Yeah, it's the critter ball, <laughs> but with people. <laughs> but it's the size of a moon mm. in the air. It is. It's startling to look at, but yeah. it's horrifying it is, as well. Is, what a fate for these people. Mm -hmm. And we're, gonna, we're not even done with what I think is the best image in this episode. Mm -hmm. That, But that's up there, the look of it. And I, even Isaac being like, the fuck? I actually think, when I was watching, I, I, I thought he'd realise he made a mistake attacking the city, this place, because he, his, his minions were getting killed. He was struggling. Yeah, he was str yeah. He was going to... If he didn't kill a magician, he was going to die. Yes. There yeah. was no question about that. But he needs that mirror. He needs that mirror, basically. Mm -hmm. um, in between the horror, uh, separate sex scenes are occurring. So Isaac rides to the tower, dodging the bodies that are thrown at him, <laughs> which was something as well. Um, and he creates a giant night creature that holds the thing at bay. Oh, Man, yeah. he gets some big old Majora's mask, end of there, one of the giants <laughs> holding cool, it up. Yeah. It looks cool as fuck. And meanwhile, the Lindenfell battle appears to be lost as the night creatures burst out the monastery. That scene, you're just like, oh, what, they're dead. Yep. Every one of them, like, the people of this town are dead. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a town. Like, you knew it already, almost to a degree, but if Trevor and Cypher walk out of here, they're walking out of a shell. Yes. They came and it fell, mm -hmm. basically. Um, Isaac manages to make it to the base of the tower, just, and heads upwards as Legion swarms it, attempting to stop him. Cool, you know? Yeah, cool. I love that it's called Legion as well, because yeah. Legion, for we are many, it's taken directly from the Bible. If you played a Shadow Man, you know that as well. Yeah. Um, as he battles the zombies in the stairwell, he does actually get injured here, mm. which is a rare thing for Isaac to take some damage, getting yep. injured. It showed this was a bit much for him. Uh, Realising they will all die if they don't stop the visitor. Cypher, Trevor and St. Germain continue to try and force their way in. It's quite desperate. It's very action-packed. This is a very heart-racing episode because action is going everywhere. Because even yep. though we're cutting him between Alucard banging the two... The, I was going to call them the twins, but not the twins, the friends, the, the you know, the, yeah. um, Taka and Sumi, um, and uh, Lenore and Hector getting it on, and what must be a very cold cell, um, but good for him, you yeah. know. Um, this is all very action packed. Yeah, but I, I think one of the things that they've done great with it, because cause we, we've been critical but before about uh, a series where they were uh, the flashbacks going one to one, yeah. one to one. I think it was um, uh, not Conquest, Conquest, we're very critical of, but here. They do it perfectly well because it's, it's smooth. It's, it's, it's enough. There's no, there's like, it's not like a here's ten seconds flash, ten seconds. It's like a minute, a minute of each section and then flash. I also think that you know it's based on adult content. So while I'm gonna say a couple of lines that I wrote that I've done jokingly, it kind of ties in. So because once they've dealt with the night creatures in the way, they start to bust away downwards, downwards. This while the ones are ha while the ones having sex are busting a nut. <laughs> yeah. so, I mean, like it's yeah, done yeah. in. It's supposed to be like almost like done in time to that aspect. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind that in the, in that sense because it. it I, we all know it's not going to a good place. Oh, oh. That's the thing. Even though it's a momentary happy moment for or, or for Hector and yeah, um, definitely happy. <laughs> yeah, Alucard. <laughs> you kind of know this is never going to last because it's Castlevania. Because yeah. true plans are about to be revealed. Isaac arrives at the top of the power, easily kills the magician's guard. Did laugh at that yeah. and sees the old man casting a spell. Loved how the magician looked. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you expect that maybe to be a sort of young. Real, but some like wizened old man, oh, like oh, really, yeah, yeah. really horrible looking. As he runs towards him, the magician casts his spell, capturing Isaac's mind and putting him under his control. I love Isaac digging his knife in to try and keep the crown from fully going yeah. around his head. Um, because Isaac's obviously not weak, he's able to fight off the magic and break the hold, plunging the knife in the magician and killing him. And in an, what I think is just spectacular, with the magician now dead, Legion collapses mm. and uh. Free, and I'm using that term very people fall like tears in the rain. Yep. It is super depressing 
And you have to generally wonder what Isaac's going to do now. As he stands there and you've just got these shadows from the windows and mm -hmm. seeing the people just falling like... And it's done in a way where it's not... They're not... They're silent because they're already dead. Their minds were gone. Yeah. yeah. So while their physical bodies might still be alive, they're already dead. Mm -hmm. But it's like feathers and tears in the rain and it's... It, it's raindrops, basically. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's and pretty it's, fucking crazy. It hit Isaac too. I, I did it, it, it said it, it, well we, we've got to it yet but obviously when, when he's sitting on the stairs yes yes indeed mm. things will change meanwhile Lenore gets Hector in his moment of passion to declare out loud that he belongs to her and that he will be loyal to her Me we'll say anything we'll say anything if we get to come basically it's as simple as that Jesus, being as fucking idiot. yes while he says this, she quietly slips the ring he was asking about on his on his finger and we see it tighten painfully so here we go Whereas Taka and Sumi also slip something on Alucard, wrist restraints that tighten painfully around his body. It seems as though they were both fooled as they both reveal their plans. Back in Lindenfell, our hero is breaking into the basement to see what the visit has become. Seeing them, it forces open the portal more revealing the infinite corridor. Mm. So we're here. Everyone, including Salah, can only look on in amazement and horror. And inside the corridor, deep in the hell, we see Dracula embracing Lisa, and they seem to sense that they've been seen. Mm -hmm. It's that momentary head turn. They look. They look. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh God, oh God, oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. How is this not the finale? How was this penultimate episode? And the joke is, right, because this changes up how previous seasons have done it. Mm -hmm. Previous seasons have always done the action-packed penultimate episode, yep. ended it, and then calmly moved through season the final episode to mm -hmm. set up the next season. This one has left everything still. <laughs> like, all right, here's a lot of action, but you now must continue into the next one because that isn't, nothing's resolved. Nothing's yeah. done. We still have all these issues to resolve. Oh, but also, here's Dracula and Lisa in Hell, and they might have noticed they've been watched. Episode 10, man. <laughs> there we go. But for now, this is episode number nine, a spectacular, spectacular one called The Harvest. You got any thoughts that you know what to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website where reviews, news and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.